so stress and anxiety can lead to um, additional risk factors for people that have IBD. So patients that have increases in anxiety are at more risk for um, surgery. They have a reduced medication adherence, um, sometimes a lower quality of life and also a higher perceived um, level of stress. So basically that means that you feel less capable of dealing with certain stressors when your anxiety is too high. And so one of the ways that I talk with patients about managing stress and how to incorporate some of the stress um, and, and cognitive behavioral strategies to manage stress is the GI stress cycle. So with the GI stress cycle, I often start with um, where you, how you're feeling. And if you're waking up in the morning and you're noticing that you're feeling maybe some urgent diarrhea or nausea, if you're not physically feeling well, naturally that starts to lend itself to some emotional um, and cognitive uh, experiences. So if you're feeling nauseous and um, having urgent diarrhea and you have a meeting later in the day, you might start to go, oh gosh, here we go again. I'm gonna have to postpone this meeting or miss this meeting. Um, and so as those cognitions start to rev, they really are unhelpful cognitions. And as we have those unhelpful thoughts, it then leads to an increase in uh, emotions such as stress, anxiety, frustration, embarrassment. Um, so really the uh, unpleasant emotions that can go along with uh, negative cognitions. And as we feel anxious and stressed, it then starts to rev what's called our sympathetic system. And our brain has this ability in times of stress to begin to produce sympathetic arousal. And that's your body's fight, flight, or freeze response. And as this happens, it begins to cause an increase in heart rate, um, your breathing may get short and shallow, and it can really start to impact the GI tract because it can clench and tense the muscles in the digestive system, which can then lead to urgency and diarrhea, and even at times slowing things down to have more constipation. And as all of that happens, um, it begins to then worsen symptoms, and we get into this big cycle um, of symptoms leading to emotions, which leads to a worsening uh, experience of the symptoms.